What's going on guys? My name is Sarai Hendry. I'm from Orcas Island, Washington, and I'm a photographer here at the University of Oregon. And today I'm going to talk about some of the photos that I've taken. The first event I shot here at Oregon was actually a soccer game, which is not in one of like the huge stadiums. It's not in one of the huge arenas. It's just on a soccer field, which is still nice, but it's not as intimidating as the other venues, I think. So the first photo I'm going to show you guys today is one that I took at the Pac-12 Championships uh, last year in 2021. I work for the student paper, the Daily Emerald, and that gives us a lot of access to sporting events and stuff. Um, that's typically how I get most of my credentials. When you're at these games, I imagine that there's a bunch of other photographers around. So what's that experience like maneuvering through them and kind of being able to get your shot that you're looking for rather than just following what the crowd's doing or just kind of like figuring out how to uh, stick out with so many other photographers in the same area. Um, I think it's actually kind of a mixture of both following the crowd and trying to find your own stuff. I know at least the first time I shot football especially and even this Pac-12 game, um, it's pretty intimidating just the scope and everything of it and you see all these other professionals that are professionals at what they do and you're just a student. So I think there's an element in the beginning of trying to see what other people are doing just to kind of figure out where to go, what looks good. And then from there, probably by about the second quarter, you're able to kind of just go around the field and just figure out what you want to do and what looks better. Um, and that's kind of how I start. I usually typically do what other people are doing. And then I go and try to find my own unique angles and stuff. I'm shooting on a Sony a7R4 and typically I actually don't have this lens on here. This is like an 18 to 105. Typically right now with all the sports I'm shooting actually, I'm only using a 50 millimeter. Um, I think it just having one lens that kind of locks you off actually forces you to take different angles that you might not think about. Um, and so that's actually been super fun to kind of experiment with. So actually most of my recent photography has only been on a 50. This photo specifically, I just really like it because one, the colors look really nice. The light is just shining down really well. And then it's just like the energy of the crowd mixed with the pose of the artist. It just kind of has a, a vibe and an energy to it that you can kind of feel. I actually reached out to this artist. This is an artist from Seattle that I've followed for a while. Um, and like me and my friends, we all kind of listen to his music back home. And so I just DM'd him, like, I know you're shooting this show in Seattle. Would it be possible to get a media credential to shoot it? And obviously, initially, like, they just don't read your message. It's just kind of a shot in the dark. Um, but then actually over the summer, me and my friends, we went to this music festival in Seattle. And he happened to be there as, like, a surprise guest. And I just took a photo on my iPhone, like, posted it, tagged him. And then from there, he saw it and then just reach back out and said, if you want a media credential, you can have it. What do you think the main difference is that you've noticed or main challenges uh, when comparing shooting at a concert versus a sporting event? Concerts are a lot more strict, I've found, of like what you're allowed to do. So typically with a concert show, you can shoot like the first three songs from that like music pit right between the crowd and the stage. Um, and so that kind of locks you into certain low angles, kind of you, everybody's getting a little bit of the same shot. And then from there, your amount of space is just as big as the venue is. So if you're in a small venue, then you don't really have too much to work with. You're just in a room, just kind of going back and forth in the back of the crowd or in the crowd. Um, but a bigger venue, like maybe a festival, I'm sure you have a lot more options to kind of get around. Tell us something about this amazing image. <laughs> so this one was another kind of special one for me because growing up in Washington, I used to go to Husky games all the time. Um, so this was kind of surreal for me to be on the field that I like grew up watching games at, watching the team I used to root for versus the team I currently root for and just being able to capture that whole experience. And of course, being in Seattle, you have the, the rain and that's kind of adds to the Northwest aspect of this photo that I really like. and. It's just a bit of luck too of like where the player happened to end up, what the player did at post, like after the play, and then it just kind of all fell into place. Do you look at specific players and try to follow them and find a shot for them, or are you kind of just like letting the game come to you? For football, yeah, you kind of start to learn who the players like that are stars because they just 
get so much media coverage. So you can kind of pick them out of a crowd and stuff. Um, other games like soccer or lacrosse, um, you can kind of just watch the game, see who's hot, and then you just kind of follow them and go from there. Like if they're having a good game, you just keep on that player because they're bound to make a good play or something like that. What about this type of photography is intriguing to you? I think for me, it's kind of the, I guess you could say rawness of the photos that you get because you're not telling these people, these artists or these athletes what to do. They're going out there and doing what they do and letting you capture moments. And I think that trying to find those moments, find those little beats of emotion, find those little beats of action, that's something that I really like and it's something I really try to look for in my photography.